A blessed day to everyone. My name is Chris and I'm going to present to you a video tutorial. This video will present how to construct a group frequency distribution from a set of data in Excel. In descriptive statistics, a group frequency distribution is one of the frequency distributions which summarize a big set of data into a table display for easy interpretation. A group frequency distribution contains numerical intervals as categories coming from a set of data that also contains numbers. The first step in constructing a, a group frequency distribution is to encode the data in only one column in Excel, usually in column A with the data title. I would like to show to you this data set which has been previously encoded. Age in years has data in numbers. In order to construct a group frequency distribution, we need intervals. To have a good plan of intervals, range must be computed first. So range is the difference between maximum and minimum value. In this example, maximum level is written in C1. Excel computes the maximum value of this set of data, 100 values in column A, by having the formula equals max, open parenthesis, and highlight all the data values not including the title. Enter. The next is to encode the minimum label below the maximum label. Then let Excel compute the minimum value or the lowest value of the data by the formula equals mean, open parenthesis, and highlight all values of the data not including the title. Then press enter. Then it's time to compute for the range. Encode the range in C3 as label and then compute for the range by encoding equals clicking D1 which is the maximum value encoding minus clicking D2 which contains the minimum value and enter. The range of our data age in years is 56. The next step is to determine the number of intervals or desired number of intervals. Encode the label number of intervals in C4. And you are going to choose the number of intervals that you are going to have in your group frequency distribution. Example is 8. After choosing 8 to be the number of intervals, the class size can now be computed. Class size label is encoded in C5. And the class size will be computed through Excel by just dividing the range by the number of intervals. In our example, we have to encode equals. Then click on D3 which contains the range value, then encode slash for division, and click on D4, which contains the number of intervals, and enter. Then we have 7 as our class size. 7 will be used later in the construction of the group frequency distribution. After that, we click insert. 
and then click pivot table after clicking pivot table look at the text box in table or range delete the entries and then while the cursor or i beam is blinking to highlight the data together with the data title The next step is to choose where the group frequency distribution will be presented. Is it in the new worksheet when we click the new worksheet button or is it in the existing worksheet? In clicking the new worksheet, Excel will provide automatically a new worksheet where the pivot table report. In this case, in our example, the group frequency distribution will be placed. In this example, existing worksheet will be chosen. So the existing worksheet button will be clicked. Then click on the text box in the location. Text box. Delete the entry in that text box. And choose a cell that will become the upper left hand corner of the group frequency distribution. In our example, F2 is chosen. When F2 is chosen, F2 becomes the upper left-hand corner of the frequency distribution. The first rows, F1 and G1, will be reserved for the title of the group frequency distribution. After clicking F2, click OK. After clicking OK, the pivot table field list will be shown. When the pivot table field list is shown, drag the data title, age in years, under the row levels, and then drag the same title under summation values. Next is to click on the arrow down at the right side of sum of age. Click on value field settings and click count, click OK. After this, right click on any entry under the row labels. Click group and the grouping window will be shown. The minimum value 18 is shown, the maximum value of the data 74 is shown, and a suggestion of the class size by 10 is also shown. We agree that we are not going to change any of the minimum and the maximum values shown in the grouping window, but change the 10 into the determined class size of 7 as what was computed. Click OK. After clicking OK, the group frequency distribution is shown. The next step is to click the count of age in years and replace this with the usually used word in research for the second column or the group frequency distribution frequency and highlight F1 and G1 click merge and center and encode the overall title of the group frequency distribution Highlight the second column, the frequency distribution. Click center to present all entries of the second column, the frequency distribution in the center. And double click 
at the boundary of columns G and H to adjust the space. Thus, the group frequency distribution for the data in age is shown. This is how Excel constructs the group frequency distribution out of a set of data in Excel. Have a good day everyone. God bless you. To God be the highest glory.